I missed you guys. Hello, I'm back. Did you miss me? It's like I'm missing my old friends and we haven't talked in so long, but I am back and we're going to have a little hangout sesh. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. I'm Alicia and this is Glitterhead Dental Diaries, our place that we talk about all things dental related and where we really have no shame. We talk about everything having to do with this experience. And for today's video, it's been a little bit since we've talked, so I'm gonna very quickly update you on my current situation, which you already know, I had two of my original um, upper implants fail. Two, I have mini implants, so I started out with six on top and four on the bottom, 10 total. Two of them failed after 14 months. The dentist gave me three new ones, which failed within a week to 10 days later. So I am currently going through, um, I'm going, I'm on my eighth week right now of missing the two upper implants. So I was supposed to go see the dentist and I was supposed to update you on how that went, but they had to postpone me. So I go back on Monday. So I'm just still kicking along the same as I was last time we talked and everything is doing great. However, today's video, there was a topic that struck me as important. So, uh, important enough to have its own video and there's actually kind of two things that we're going to talk about today so the first thing will be the difference between your immediate set of dentures and your permanent or remade set of dentures like mine um there's a lot of differences and i think people get sometimes you get confused because some doctors use the word immediate to mean temporary and other dentists like mine made the you know, use the word immediate just to mean immediate. It doesn't mean it's also temporary, which made me pretty confused in the beginning of my process. I wasn't sure if he meant they're immediate but temporary or if they're just immediate. And in my case, my dentist actually doesn't make them temporary. They're supposed to be permanent. But so for the purpose of this video, immediate just means what they give you on E-Day, whether it's permanent, meant to be permanent or not. It's just the ones you get on E-Day versus the perms. So the perms, when I say that, it just means the remade set, the permanent set that you end up with. Because permanent also means other things. If you're talking about um, implant retained permanent dentures, sometimes that means cemented in, like you can't remove them. But for this video, like I said, immediate just means what you get on E-Day. Perm means what you end up with. So these are my perms. And I got these after five months. And after I show you, I'm gonna show you the difference. I'm gonna put my old set in and I'm gonna show you exactly like you can tell the difference. So we're gonna look at my old ones now that it's been months since I've tried them on compared to these ones that I love that I've gotten so comfortable with. And it kind of ties into the topic that I'm gonna talk about. Basically, I just wanna to try to give some encouragement and let you guys know the things that helped me to get over facing my fear of seeing myself without my teeth and just being okay with myself toothless or toothless or whatever like how did how do i do that like how did i become okay with it you know so i want to talk about that because it wasn't something i really thought i would ever be okay with when i started my channel i never foresaw myself being the kind of person that would want to take their teeth out for the world to see so i surprised myself you know and i just there's reasons for it so i think it'll all go in together and i'm gonna give you guys all my advice and tips that have helped me to become okay with this process and experience because it was pretty traumatic. So anyways, these this set of perms is the shade PW4, which is the second whitest bleach shade. I'm very happy with them. I feel like they're the perfect whiteness for my skin tone, which really does matter when they're having you pick your shade, you're gonna wanna hold it up to your face so you can see it against your skin tone. Just because when you look at the shade card by itself, certain shades are going to look a certain way, but until you hold it up to yourself, you're really not going to know if that shade looks right on you. And I'll show you just by holding up my immediate set of teeth how different it looks. Like, you can tell that they're a different shade, but you can't tell much else, you know, until you put them in. So here they are. PW4. And this is PW2, which is the third whitest bleach shade. So that's how these look. Out of my mouth. And then I'm going to show you what they look like in my mouth. So you'll be able to see if I sound any different or anything like that. These ultimately broke three times. My lowers snapped in half three times. And you can see it still where they repaired it between this tooth it just looks like kind of 
a little muddier because of all the many times that they had to bond it back together. So there's like a crack you can still see. These are my lowers. And it was because they didn't fit right. That's why they snapped in half. So on E-Day, when these were put in my mouth, my jaw wouldn't shut. And they ended up having to file off a lot of the back teeth to make them fit. The only reason that I'm really bringing this up is because I know that they do this for other people. But you can see how flat that is back there. I didn't have molars there. It looks like I did on this side, but they're actually filed all the way down. Flat. So um, that made a big difference in my ability to eat and chew and was another reason that I really wanted them remade. And they did remake them. But, you know, I feel like if you're happy with your immediates and you're not really complaining about them, they'll just have you keep them. If you do have issues, like I had major issues with these. I didn't like the color. I didn't like the fit. They gave me a lisp and they broke and the bottoms never stayed in very well when I was eating. There was a lot of things I didn't like about them. So I'm going to show you how I look with that old set of teeth. Be right back. I'll put the lowers in. I just have to be careful snapping them in because I don't have all my implants and um, maybe I should move you guys up a little bit just a tiny bit we'll see if it helps oh crap oh sorry okay there we are um so this is me I'll move up closer to this is me with my immediate set that I got on e-day and as you can see, um, I sound different and I'm lisping. And that was like that since I got them. And I kind of just thought it was normal. It is. It's normal for your immediates not to fit right, not to feel right, and not to look right. It's very common because they're taking your impressions either with your bad teeth or with no teeth. No, usually they do your impressions with while you still have some teeth left before they pull them. So it's going to slightly change it's going to change once those teeth are gone, if that makes sense. Like, um, they're going to have to do more impressions, but they have to give you something on E-Day. It's just probably not going to be perfect. It's very hard to get perfect immediate dentures. And I did not know that. I really didn't know that. I was very naive. I thought, how hard could it be to make a perfect set of teeth? Like, you know what I mean? And then even with this set, I, you guys know the ones that have been there with me through this from the beginning. You know I didn't like these. But you also know that I did eventually get used to them and I became so, sort of attached to them. And I've talked about that before about people, um, about how we do get attached to our image, even our broken image. And even before we have our teeth fixed, so much of our appearance is a part of ourselves and we're so used to it that it's so hard to trick your brain into accepting a new image. And they're going to tell you in the beginning that you can't really judge the results because you can't fully see it yet and your mouth hasn't fully healed yet and your dentures are not going to look the way they do on e-day two weeks later they're going to start changing how they look as your mouth starts to um, calm down from the swelling and everything your dentures will sit in better they're going to start feeling better um, and usually your temporary or immediate set is just fine and functional enough to get you through till you get your perms um, but in my case, I was so unhappy about it, and it wasn't temporary um, for many reasons, and I think it's pretty obvious, but I'll tell you some of the main differences with these immediates. My upper teeth don't show when I'm talking. In my new set, they do show more, so they brought those down. And this set, my lowers were too tall, because you see those more, and I wanted that different, so they did that different too. Um, and the color, I wanted them a little whiter, so we went up a bleach shade. Um, I also wanted more definition in the canines. I didn't want half the molars shaved off. You know, I wanted like a nice set of dentures without having to cut anything off to make them fit. And I also was hoping not to have a lisp. But here's the smile. And it is a little off kilter. Um, like this side is down lower. And they still don't look bad. 
Um, it's just funny how fast your brain will get used to a different appearance, you know, or not how fast, but once you're used to yourself a certain way, it's just so hard to change it, but it's normal. It's really normal. I'm going to put my other ones back in um, so I can tell you guys more about how I felt um, with my immediates and some advice I can give you if you're dealing with immediates that you don't love or if you're just about to go into this and you're scared. I'm going to try to give you some helpful hints and tips and tricks and what helped me. Be right back. And I'm back and here I am with my perms that I'm a lot happier with and a lot more comfortable with. Um, like I said, these are one shade whiter, so I really like the color better, and they didn't have to be filed down anywhere. My lowers sit a little lower, and my top came down a little more, and we kind of debated that. Like, I feel like if it was going to be perfect, I would have my uppers raised up just a little bit more than they are, but it's not really something worth making changes to right now like I'm very happy with what I have and I like how they fit I'm super comfortable I have no lisp so the lesson to learn here is that it's very normal when you get your immediates to not be happy and I know that it's really shocking and that's why I talk about it a lot in these videos often but anyways I do try to really stress that it's very normal not to feel good when you first get your teeth or when you get your immediates it's really common for it to be somewhat traumatic and that's really unfortunate but it's not a horribly bad thing there's this term that i just learned today it's called like the mirror effect and i haven't looked into it too much i've only seen it briefly described but it's kind of like when you get a new set of teeth and you look different but when you're looking at that new appearance your brain is not mirroring it back the way it's actually looking like your brain will play tricks on you you're so used to seeing yourself one way that when you get new teeth it's like your brain just doesn't want to accept it. It doesn't make sense to your brain. It's like putting a new nose on your face or, you know, totally changing your eye color or the shape of your eyes. Like that's going to change a lot. So it's definitely something that takes time and it's something you can't always rush. You just have to be calm with, and gentle with yourself. You have to take it easy with yourself and just don't expect too much too soon. You know, like we're not all going to get our teeth pulled and then immediately feel confident and beautiful without her teeth you know that is something that takes time and what helped me get over it was the it's just because like when you really stop to think about who are you trying to impress who are you trying to make feel better yourself right so like the reason i got my teeth done was so that i could let go of those insecurities that were holding me back and so that i could be well spoken and so that i could be expressive and so that i could be myself i never even really thought I would be still sharing my story a year and a half later. I just didn't think it was going to like help that many people. But by sharing my story and facing my fear, I have helped myself so much, so much more than I ever expected. And just you guys being so supportive and understanding has helped me in many ways. Like you just don't even know. It wasn't expected. And I feel like that's something really awesome. Like, you know, it's just, it's special when things go opposite of what you're expecting in people in humans you know we just we're so worried that people are going to be hateful and people are going to be rude and judgmental and when they're not and when it's the opposite it's just like something to pay attention to and appreciate and i really do appreciate it i think it's freaking awesome and i think it can give hope to other people who want to open up and talk about their story that there's other people out here who are equally as stressed about their situations and we all need the support but when it comes down to it, I'm okay with myself without my teeth because I, for the most part, I'm going to wear my teeth anyways. And for the second thing, like I'm okay with it. <laughs> Once you're okay with it yourself, it really doesn't matter what other people think because I know that I got these teeth for me. I got them to improve my health, my quality of life, and I needed it, you know? I mean, why should I feel upset about it? I had to fix my teeth for my health. And plus, I haven't really had real teeth for over 10 years. I've had bridges, crowns, root canals, and a partial for the last 10 years. And I've been hiding for 10 years and too afraid to put myself out there. And I, it's just like, enough is enough, you know? My life is going to fly by so fast. And if I don't enjoy it and get myself to where I need to be, it's not going to happen. Like, it's all, only something you can do, you know? Uh, and when I look in the mirror and I see myself without my teeth... It just doesn't really matter. I can put my teeth back in and look like this. 
you know, and I got them to wear. I didn't get them not to wear, but I also want to be okay with myself without my teeth just because there's people that have to go without theirs, theirs and they don't get them. And there can be times where you cannot wear your teeth. And in the event that something happens and mine break or they don't fit or my implants fail and my teeth don't stay in, trust me, I'm going to be really upset if I don't have teeth and I have to go toothless. I'm not saying I wouldn't be. I definitely would be. I think it would be very hard. And I think it's hard to understand for anybody that's not been there and gone through it. And there's people going through it. So I want to give hope and I am trying to normalize it. And that's why I do share it. You know, I'm trying to bring awareness to it. So the fact that like it's a human experience it's not just for old people this happens to people of all different ages and for all different reasons it's not something to be ashamed of and then on the flip side there's people that haven't been able to get dentures or they're choosing not to fix their teeth and i see them get a lot of hate but i also see i see people just not giving a fuck and they're gonna put themselves out there bad teeth or not and i think that's just it's awesome and we need to stop with the judgments and the hate people really do get very attached to their appearance even if it's messed up even if it's not perfect and not all of us are really you know not everyone is as bothered about it but they're more bothered about it by what people say to them not what they think of themselves at the end of the day what matters is what you think about yourself you know like i'm good and i know it so i don't feel bad and I feel like if you think that way about it and you really just focus on yourself, what you think of yourself, what you know to be true, that's what matters. You know, we don't owe anyone else an explanation. It's only what, how you feel about yourself. That's the biggest factor here, which it's hard to get to because usually when we have bad teeth and before we're happy, like when I got mine done, I was still insecure. And when I got my immediate set and I hated them, I was still insecure, you know? And it's like this hopeless feeling. You just feel like you're never gonna get there. You're never gonna feel normal. You're never gonna feel restored. There's people that feel like their faces have changed in ways they never imagined and like they can never be okay with. But you also have to keep in mind that you probably are going to be looking at yourself a lot harder and like under a microscope after you have this done you're going to be looking at yourself harder than you ever did before and i know this because when i had bad teeth i didn't want to stare at the mirror i didn't want to examine my teeth i didn't want to be all like do i look good like this how about this angle does the canine look too big you know what i mean you don't do that when you have bad teeth you do that when you get your teeth and then you start noticing all these little things. And even in my case, I feel like things that I was complaining about in the beginning that I thought were wrong about my face were things that I just never had noticed about my face. So you do have to keep in mind that things are gonna change, including your own perceptions. And so the way you feel on E-Day with your immediates that you might hate, you could end up falling in love with them. Like, for real. I fell in love with these crappy ones, right? <laughs> I really did. Like, in the end, I was starting to feel like, well, shit. I had one pointy canine and one flat. And I was like, well, you know what? That makes me, that would make them unique. Maybe I should just keep them like that. I literally was that crazy. See, this one's pointed, but the other side was the side that they had to shave off. So it's not really pointed. And But, you know, I started being like, eh, maybe I would like that. I didn't do that, but you know, nothing's perfect. And these aren't perfect either, but I haven't been ripping them apart. Like in the beginning when I first got them, I did show you guys every little thing, but at a certain point you just kind of get past it and you're just like, you know what, it's good enough and I'm happy. And that's really what matters. But yeah, so that's it. And then the other thing that always helps me, like I, I say this all the time, but in case someone hasn't heard me, we do not get dentures like we get dentures to fix our insecurities, expecting it to help. We don't get dentures to get them and then still feel insecure and like crap about needing dentures in the first place. You know what I mean? We don't do that. We're going to get our dentures to feel better. So don't do, don't get your dentures and put yourself through all of this and just to end up feeling like bad about yourself that you did it. You should feel good about yourself that you've done it. You're taking a major step forward for your health and you've done what you feel like is right you don't have to justify it to anybody like you really don't it's what you want to do it's your money that's it case closed <laughs> um 
So yeah, and that's it. But I do have some other exciting news. I think that's it for like the, the actual dental stuff, I think. So I'm just gonna chat now about whatever. Um, for those of you that know, I do have a beauty channel on YouTube. It's called Princess Glitterhead. I'm gonna be more active there as soon as I can. My kids went back to school, but only two days a week. So I'm trying to balance things. My TikTok is doing well. You can find me on there, Princess Glitterhead. I do have some new denture videos on there that I think you guys would really like. One of them's about to hit a million again. Yay! I don't know if I can include it in this video because I might get a copyright. So you might have to go check it out, but the link to that will be down in the description along with my beauty channel. And I'm gonna show you what my lips are today because I'm planning to do a lip video for girls with dentures. And I'm gonna show you how I do my lips. You can find a lip video though, very similar to the one I have on. It's on my Instagram, princessglitterhead1, and it's on the IGTV thing, so you can rewatch the live where I did my lips. Um, but these are this is my favorite combination lately. I've been using the NYX liner in sand beige. And then over top of that, I put my favorite Live Glam Lippy. This one's called Lavish, and the lid's got little diamonds and money things. I will put my Live Glam link in the description. The way it works is it's a subscription service, so you get four lippies a month of your choice, but you can let them surprise you because they kind of package four together. That's how she looks. It's perfect nude. It smells like, like cupcakes. It's amazing. Um, so you get four a month. They always have a little collection. So if you like it, you can just get that. But if you don't like something, you can trade and you can hand select the ones you like. If you don't want to be charged and you don't want to do it, you just skip the month and they don't charge you, but you're still a member. And if you use my link to sign up, you'll get to pick out a free lippy of your choice. So you'll get five for $20 and you really can't beat that. And these are really good quality. So I'll leave the link to my live glam fam down below for anyone interested. And I'll leave the links for everything else um, everywhere. Oh, what did I do? How did I spill something on myself? I haven't even gotten up. <laughs> that's the weirdest thing. But anyways, I do believe that's it. I have my next appointment Monday to go see the doctor and see if my gums have healed. I'm pretty sure they're healed. It feels great. I'm not in any pain. But just talking to you for a little bit with that one, the old one, it's it irritates my mouth. And I can tell like just how uncomfortable it was to put up with for as long as I did. But just have patience and just know that it's a process. It's a mental, emotional process as well as a physical process. They don't always go hand in hand. So sometimes we get to a certain place physically and have to wait for the mentality to catch up. But if you're always consciously trying to be confident and positive about things, that's really that's really the most important thing. I feel like if you just take it easy on yourself, remind yourself that this is a human experience. A lot of humans go through this and just know that what you're going through is not abnormal. It's very common, as scary and as traumatic as it is. A lot of us that get our dentures go through that trauma. And it's just something that I see so many posts from people that are like just starting and they're just so surprised, like they're shocked. They can't believe that it's like this so i do try to i just you know that's why i make my videos i try to talk about the emotions and stuff a lot because that was really hard for me it, this is heavy it's not easy i mean it may look easy because i get on here to talk about it it looks easy to talk about but it's not easy to go through <laughs> at all that's why i try to warn people but it does get better and i feel like the first few weeks are the hardest really once you're past the first month it's like smooth sailing you just have to keep going back if your immediates don't fit or you don't like them take notes on everything you don't like make sure your dentist knows don't take you know don't be forced into something you don't want make sure you stand up for yourself no one else is going to you're the only person that has to wear them somebody paid for them whether it was insurance cash or a credit card it really doesn't matter someone got paid to do it and you need to be happy so we also have to have realistic expectations. So it's important to talk to your dentist and ask him every single thing you can think of and you know, just be as informed as possible, as, as you possibly can. But I think that's it for this video. I hope I didn't forget anything. Please check out the description for all my links and where you can find me. I also go live on TikTok quite a bit just to hang out and talk and do Q and A's. Um, and I do Sunday night girls nights Sunday Night Girls Night every Sunday on Facebook Live, Princess Glitterhead. So come find me there. I would love to have you. It doesn't have to just be girls. Anybody's welcome, but it is called Girls Night because it's just us girls. 
doing our makeup and stuff. But I answer qu questions about my teeth, so whenever anyone finds me, you can always ask me anything. It doesn't really bother me. I'm an open book for the most part. But anyways, that's it. I'm going to go and tidy up and get ready for the, e the rest of the evening. Josh just went to go get the kids from his mom's house. And it's about to get really loud here as soon as they get back. But I hope you guys are having a really good beginning of fall. The only downfall to fall this year is that the other day I was doing a TikTok live. Side note, I guess this video is not over. <laughs> Side note, the other day I was doing a TikTok live and I noticed that the sky looked really grayish. Like it didn't look like there was clouds, but it didn't look nice and blue. And I was like, I know there's fires. There's like major fires happening in California, Oregon, probably more than just those two places, but they're so big. I was like, I it can't be the fires like it couldn't be pollution right it couldn't be the smoke all the way from california i live in new york so i was telling them on the live like why does it look so different my son the sun looks different too like it looks red well the very next day on the news we got a weather warning alert that that pollution and smoke has made its way like via the jet stream to new york to our little tiny town to give us weather alerts that we're having a major temp drop it's going to be like in the 30s and it was 70s today it's gonna to be in the 30s in a day or two they also said the air quality is not going to be very good to be careful our sun and sunset's going to be redder and more vivid and colorful and beautiful and some of the weathermen make it sound like an amazing event but you know it's not for good reason it's because there's a lot of crazy shit happening on the west coast um but so that's not crazy like it actually does travel and it it's affecting across the country so i just want to say those people dealing with that are in my prayers. I cannot imagine what they're going through with their families and having to evacuate. And on top of everything else going on, it's just crazy. And I'm just so sorry that there's people going through that. I can't imagine actually living there in the middle of it. But you're in my thoughts and prayers, anyone that lives out there. And that's about it. But I just didn't want to forget to mention them. I know that's there's a lot going on. My prayers are with everybody. <laughs> there's a lot of crazy stuff happening. So... Um, anyways, though, I do believe that is it, and I hope everyone is safe and healthy and happy and doing well. Please let me know in the comments where you're at in your process, if you've just started or if you've gone on a little bit, and let me know some positive things that you've learned or things that you've found that help you deal with it. Or if you have quotes of inspiration, that's even better. Let's try to inspire and motivate and encourage each other. Even just in the comments, leave all your tips below. I would love to hear them and it would never hurt. You know, there's always somebody that needs that help. You never know who you're going to reach and who needs to hear your message. So that's it. On that note, I will see you in my next video and I will love you. And I can't wait to see you next time. I love you guys.